Vom asista o prezentare susținută de șeful Departamentului de Geofizică și Științe Spațiale de la Universitatea Hedră Joana din Budapesta, profesorul primar de la Formul Bun Bun Prietelor al nostru, care ne va împărtăși din experiența lui vastă legată de referențierea hărților B. Prezentarea va fi susținută în urmă din urmă. Uh, if anybody uh, is hearing me uh, to this point, I'm always talking about uh, georeferencing of historical maps, but rather historical maps having kilometer grids. Which is an easy way, because if you know, as Professor Imran said a few uh, lectures ago, if you know the geodetic datum and the projection well, this georeference means no real difficulty. But here, in present case, I will show you two maps, two old maps of Hungary, and I'm terrible sorry, I have no any uh, nationalist feeling behind it. It, it. it is just my laziness, they were the, the closest maps uh, from my hands, and uh, to prepare for the, for the examples. Uh, one from the early stage of the, of the 19th century, and the other one is the oldest map of Hungary uh, from, the, from the early 16th century, and how to georeference a map without any kilometer grid. In the first case, we do have a kind of little that long grid, but in the other one, there is nothing. So, what to do with those maps? We don't know at, at the start the projection, just have some geo information, slot on it, or even nothing, just some places. So this is the first map from uh, 1804. It is the map of uh, Jackson Crocs uh, of the historical Hungary. And as you see, there is no real geo reference on it, just on the frame. If you see the frame, the latitude longitude uh, grid descriptions in degrees, longitude from ferro, latitude from and this is the, the map to be georeferred. This is our first example of our first exercise. On the map, first uh, we have to analyze the last known grid. In this map, the meridians are straight lines pointing to the same point at the pole, while the parallels are not visible, but uh, suspected to be concentric circles. This projection is a conic projection, but okay, we have several conic, conic projection types. However, if we know even the type, we shall know again the parameters of the projection. So what to do with this map? What would be the ground control points. Please tell me some, some guess, some ideas. What to do? Only the frame has any descriptions and there are no real internal grid. What to do? No idea? The corners. See the corners. All the corners can be calculated, the latitude and longitude, because there are degrees and 10 minutes signs, and you can count them and just on the four corner, uh, corner points, we know the real georeference in this geodetic datum, which is unknown. However, the low scale tells us, okay, geodetic datum is, is not really important. So, these are the control points. In fact, we have, uh, we have five in this case, because there was one uh, real uh, crossing on the, on the right side. And if you put it, you put them on uh, as, as GCPs, please uh, detect the last uh, last count, the RMS, the remaining means, means to an error, which is expressed in pixels. So it is very high, it's very high. More than 100 pixels error are expressed. And why? Because the eastings and northings are expressed in latitude and longitude. And this is an error. This is not the way how to do it. You should use a projection. That's why projection would use 
uh, to eliminate uh, this distortion. Okay, so our GCPs have to be uh, transformed into the real projection of the of the map. Okay, but what is the projection of the map? This is a small advertisement of the next session in Salafre with, uh, with Vasile and Mihai, with Gida. Uh, this is, the, this is the, the projection file of the existant conic, uh, uh, conic projection. But how to get those parameters on the bottom side of the, uh, of the, uh, of the window? Okay. Standard parallel came uh, from the from the angle of the uh, of the meridian uh, uh, of the meridians on the map. Okay, we can express it in mathematical forms. <coughs> Central meridian is the one which is really vertical in case of conic projection. It doesn't pose any error if you uh, if you set it incorrectly. However, your map will be distorted. But on, for example, Google Earth, it will fit fine. However, there will be some idle pixels, a lot of them. Okay. The uh, latitude of origin is not really important because uh, your GI software follows it. If the latitude is set to the north, then the, then the grid north will be, will be higher. And the transform all the, all the GCPs, see the error, the error, error is below 10 pixels, so it is 10 less than the original one. It is correct, and uh, we, we can work, uh, work with this. And if you use it, this is another advertisement to the tomorrow's talk, tomorrow's uh, session of uh, in Salat Head with uh, Mario Sensorin. Google Earth wants to get uh, distorted maps in this projection, or not, not projection, in the geography system with VGS data for uh, data. So, we can easily transform our map after that to Google Earth, and I hope that Marius will tell us a lot more how to do it tomorrow. So it was quite an easy way because what we did in this case, we estimate, of well, first we guess the projection type, which is a conic one, like distant conic, then estimate the parameters of the atmosphere distant point for projections, set up at least four corner, uh, uh, the four corner points as, as, uh, as control points, then transformate those coordinates from latitude longitude to the local coordinate system, and then we get it uh, geographer even on Google Earth. This other advertisement is soon to be a blog of mine with those maps, and if you belong, then you will be advertised via your platform, I'm sure. Okay, the other, the other map is a much more hard It is from, from 1528, quite interesting oriented, not to north, but, but to northeast, covering the Pannonian Basin. So for this, uh, those, those four uh, control points were not yet, not yet. especially because okay, uh, the corners were somehow written, but, uh, but not, uh, not very uh, reliable. So in this case, we had more than 600 control points all around the map. <coughs> and then, if you use the normal way in GIS, okay, we have. 600 points, why, uh, why not uh, making that, making a fit to the UTM? Okay, this is the, uh, the solution. You can see up, uh, errors up to uh, 20 or, or 30 kilometers, not in the very center of the, on, on the map, but uh, in the lower than you can run the Iron Gate and, and, uh, and Bucharest we have. We can make, uh, we can raise the, the accuracy if, uh, if using, not linear, but uh, but quadratic, uh, quadratic fit thing, or even cubic fit thing, but the real exact way, the real standard way, is again to estimate the projection and the projection parameters. In this case, what would be a projection of that time? And what would be the geodetic basis of the map? The geodetic basis 
would not be anything else than the Ptolemy point, which, which was known in the Middle Ages too, even later, later from this. This is a, a Greek script of the Pannonian point list. There are up to 40 points covering uh, that, uh, that map. And also the map of Ptolemy, the Ptolemy uh, projection, which is in our terms in GIS is the equidistant conic projection. And of course, using those 600 GCPs, we can estimate the parameters of the Ptolemyan projection. And if we got it, if we got them all, next at least, a real georeferred map. Is it? Is it the original map? Hmm? However, we have a projection file behind it, and we can put, for example, latitude longitude read on it. And it explains us the strange uh, orientation of the map. Why? Why is that? Because if we go to the map of Ptolemy, we are on the side, on the left side. And on the left side, the meridian convergence is so high that our map is rotated by 40 degrees. That is the explanation. And if we step forward, we could put the uh, training system, the river, the coastlines to the map, and we realize that the error now, in case of the linear fitting with the real projection, the magnitude of the error is the same with the brute force method with cubic, uh, uh, cubic fitting. So, this is a, a much more reliable one, and uh, that's why I always say that when you the georeferring, georeferencing, you shall use the real projection of the map, nothing more, to uh, keep those uh, errors that was uh, explained uh, before the lunch break uh, quite well, as low as possible. So this is the, uh, the conclusion of my, my talk. Again, for the, for the estimation of the, of the conic projection, is when you adjust the standard parallel, if you, and, and you put it wrongly, then you get a, not, a, not a rectangle, but a rather a parallel gamma. And if you put it well, you will get the real georeferred map, which was quite striking, uh, striking four or five uh, slides before. Good colleagues.